Hey everyone, my name is Dylan Gonzalez. I'm the editorial director for GeekVibesNation.com and also a co-host of the Home Dance Film Festival podcast. And I'm so excited to be here today to discuss a show that I've really grown attached to uh, ever since it debuted a little over a decade ago. And that is the 2012 reboot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It ran for five seasons on Nickelodeon and 124 episodes um, and for the first time all five seasons and all 20 discs have been uh, gathered in one collection from Paramount um, and I'm going to unbox this a little bit and then kind of give a little bit of background on the series but this is one that is well worth a spot on your shelf. Paramount has released the complete series of the 2012 to 2017 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on DVD. It's all 124 episodes on 20 disc in this pretty slim packaging here. And you kind of get a look at everything here. It says 20 disc. These have all been released individually before. These are just all kind of combined in this shelf friendly packaging. So I'll show you here. I will say I'm not a huge fan of this particular packaging, mostly because there are no disc numbers there, are, and uh, it's just all kind of sub-labeled here, as you can kind of see. The and these are stacked discs, so each of these first sections have disc underneath, but they have stuff like Enter Shredder, which is disc two. So these are all kind of they're organized correctly, but I had to consult Wikipedia to make sure I was uh, uh, watching these in the correct way. I, I can kind of show you even the episode guide that they include underneath here does not have a corresponding disc name to this these episodes. So if you do get these discs kind of mess, mixed up, you will have to kind of consult the guide or just pop stuff in and see if it, can, if it uh, corresponds to the correct disc. But So you have four discs here, four discs here, four here, four here, and then this last kind of compartment here are two here and two here. So there are no stacked discs on these last two that finish out the series. So they're all pretty compact, but they're just kind of a little bit hard to uh, be, to kind of locate things. So overall, I'm glad that this had a complete series, but and you can all kind of get get everything without having to buy like ten different individual releases. But I wish they just kind of reskin the discs so you can kind of see everything and kind of organize things kind of correctly. But overall, it's a good shelf-friendly packaging, and I'm glad it exists. So the 2012 version of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is the third uh, animated series based on the classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles property. Um, and the biggest thing that stands out about this particular series is of course that it is the first one that is 3D animated. And uh, admittedly, the first time I watched this, I was a little bit thrown off because I am used to that classic original series 2D animation. I love hand-drawn animation. But once you kind of get settled into this world and kind of like watch a few more more than a couple episodes, you kind of get used to the animation style and you come to really appreciate what it, the, what this particular series does without comparing it to the original series, which I do own the original series and I'm not going to unbox this, but like I have the uh, 80s series here in this cool packaging, which I also highly recommend. I am a big uh, Ninja Turtles fan, um, but this 2012 series more than holds its own. Um, it does uh, take a lot of the uh, kind of classic, it, it, it leaves a lot of the things you love about the Ninja Turtles intact. Um, it has kind of, it maintains all their personalities. You have all the same character dynamics. You have like, uh, a, a, it unfolds nicely as it um, kind of uh, uh, 
adds new characters each season instead of like uh, fan favorites. Of course, you have like April April O'Neil right at the beginning, but then you get people like uh, Casey Jones, um, Bebop and Rocksteady, just a lot of different types of like fan favorite characters that kind of like uh, are not com like all stuffed into the first season. It kind of the show is allowed to breathe as it unfolds over the five seasons. And there are some episodic elements to this narrative, but what I really liked about this particular iteration is it does, it is really uh, kind of story based. It does kind of build and like have really great arcs throughout each season, and that kind of continues from season to season, it just doesn't abandon storylines. It does kind of pay off things, even from the first, uh, like, first season that are still paying off in the fifth and final season. So I really like that it does uh, kind of maintain the lore, but kind of also evolves upon it and adds some really nice flourishes all of its own. Um, it's really good storytelling throughout these 124 episodes. It builds really nicely to a very satisfying finale. Um, it, ha it has a really good sense of humor, but also gives you a lot of great action and I said those strong character moments, which is what you really appreciate about the Ninja Turtles. So it, it maintains all these elements. It has really good voice actors. Um, you have Jason Biggs for the first couple of seasons, who is eventually replaced by Seth Green. Um, you have Sean Astin, but then you also have not just like big name people. You have uh, people uh, that are like uh, titans in animation, uh, like uh, Rob Paulson, who also kind of uh, uh, lend their expertise. So kind of like, it's not just a star-studded affair. These are all people that uh, are appropriate for the characters throughout. Um, so, like I said, this has a really good story structure. It has really good pacing. There's not too many filler episodes, um, and it's just a really fun, fun... It, uh, entry into this franchise and what I really do appreciate about this there are moments throughout this series um, that pays um, homage to the original series it even connects explicitly to the 80s series um, in a couple ways uh, that I won't spoil here but it's uh, some pretty cool ways that they kind of uh, kind of engage with that 80s series and doesn't try to just throw that away as a whole uh, series itself um, it's kind of like a parallel uh, universes basically um, but uh, if you are a Ninja Turtles fan and you kind of just have been kind of uh, unsure about this series, if you have not seen it in this past decade it's been out, I do think it's worth your time. Um, just even though it's like computer animated, it has a style all of its own. It's a really fun series. Um, and the, I'm glad that Paramount did release all these in one collection because I honestly I was hesitant to pick up any previous releases they were all kind of sporadically released in volumes now I have the collection all in one shelf friendly packaging and as much as I love this uh, 80 series uh, packaging that I showed off here this is not the most shelf friendly so I am glad to have something that's shelf friendly and compact because as I get more titles space is limited so um if you are a fan of the Turtles, I do recommend this from Nickelodeon and Paramount. Um, like I said, all 20 discs, all five seasons in one package, and pretty uh, reasonably priced considering how much value you get. Um, so uh, if you are, if you did enjoy this unboxing, make sure to share it with uh, fellow fans of the Ninja Turtles. Uh, share it around, comment, let me know what you think of this particular series. Let me sh know kind of what series uh, is, uh, kind of rest in your heart what are your favorites um but most of all just make sure to support this release uh because i'm glad that uh these t uh, types of releases are still being made on physical media i'm a physical media guy and if you're watching this i uh, su uh, suppose you are too um but i appreciate you watching this and make sure to just like i said like comment share this around i'm going to be doing more of these um but until next time thank you for watching